Estamos aqui com Deilo. Hi, how are you? Hi, good. How are you? I'm doing great. What about you? How are you feeling coming back to Monterey? You were here last year for a festival, but this time you're yeah. bringing your own show. How, how yeah. are you feeling, like being able to play solo here? Yeah, I'm stoked. I think it's going to be really fun. Um, it's a long time coming. So, yeah, I'm just excited. What can we expect from your show uh, at Show Center Complex this September? Yeah, it's going to be, I think, very loud. Um, I think it's going to be very much like rock and roll, a lot of guitar feedback. Um, that's that's the goal, at least. Um, it'll be the second show on tour. Um, so it'll be very fresh. We'll be very excited. Um, yeah, I can't wait. And speaking of new things, you just released a new single in Cocoon. What can you tell us about it? Yeah, yeah. So it's the second single off the new um, record, which is self-titled, um, which is kind of just like a statement about where I am as an artist and as a person. I think I've been growing up um, with my music. And uh, I think this album, <clears throat> I finally found the confidence to like, both equally be myself and be Deglo at the same time. And so Cocoon is a song that like really kind of sums that up about like the process of like becoming a butterfly and like breaking out of your cocoon and becoming who you are. So it's a very like coming of age uh, song. Of course, and what can you tell us about your new album? I've noticed that you have like this red aesthetic going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to read now. Um, yeah, yeah, it's it's really exciting. I think it's going to be fun. Like, I've been really experimental, like, at least I think in, in the last two albums. Um, and because I produce and mix my own music. So I'm just always having fun with whatever. But I think with this album, I really tried to focus in on, like, what Day Glow is. And... Um, I think it was a fun challenge and everything is like super live, a lot of guitar solos and um, yeah, I, I think it's going to be fun to see how people receive it. Um, but yeah, it's like, like very much like raw live uh, surf rock. Yeah. And like you said, it's like finding yourself through the music, like this is Dayglo. Totally, totally. And I have a question, like, you have a, a very viral hit, which is Can I Call You Tonight? Did you ever expect that to become, like, the viral hit that it is? Um, It's weird to think because, like, at the time of releasing it, TikTok didn't exist. Like, it wasn't even a thing yet. And so I remember when I made it, I was like, I liked the music video and I was like, oh, I could see this being like a meme or something. Um, and it kind of gaining like indie traction, but like bedroom pop had like just kind of become a thing. Um, and so I wasn't as like aware of what it could even grow to be because the TikTok stuff's just a whole new thing. Um, so yeah, it's weird because like the song was two years old and then TikTok was created and then it just started doing well on TikTok. And I didn't even have a TikTok. Um, it just naturally happened. Um, so now I've been like trying to make TikToks of my own for this new album, but I didn't have to do that with uh, Can I Call You Tonight, which was great. Yeah, so now you're like also incorporating TikTok to, to this album promo. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. It's <laughs> it's a learning curve, but yeah. It's been a challenge. Yeah. I have this little like music trivia so we can get to know you better, get to know you cool. and and your inspiration. So, I want to start off by asking, what was the first CD that you ever bought like with your own money? Mm. Um, with my own money, I think I bought I bought the Avicii album on iTunes. Uh, I think it might be self-titled, uh, but I bought an Avicii album. I was really into EDM in like middle school. So that's what I got. Yeah. 
Hey, who inspired you to start making music? I loved Phoenix uh, growing up, and I, I mean, still do. I think they're probably my favorite band. Um, but yeah, like Phoenix, like MGMT, Passion Pit, um, Two Door Cinema Club, like those early 2010s, like indie rock and pop, um, definitely inspired me to make my music. Um, and has shaped the sound of Dayglo for sure. If you were a song, which one would you be? Let me think. If I were one of my own songs or... It, it can be one of yours or another artist. I wish I could think of another artist. Uh, I'm trying to think of something, something weird. Uh, Paranoid by uh, Black Sabbath. I'll go with that. Okay, <laughs> bold choice. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. And your favorite album of all time? Mm, probably the Phoenix Wolfgang album. Yeah, I think that album is so good. Yeah, it is. Which is your favorite song there? I like Girlfriend. I think that's a really good song. Yeah, yeah I love our Mistis. So yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. Just that I don't know the outro gets me every time. It's it is such a good so album, great. like yeah, indie royalty, definitely. Totally. <laughs> a song by another artist that you wish you've written and released. Mm. Um let me think. Maybe like Sabrina Carpenter Espresso. I mean that's okay. a, a hit. And they used like a splice loop to make it. So I wish I would have done that. That was would have been nice. That that's so cool. That's such a, a good show. Like it's it's like the soundtrack of 2024, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, pretty crazy. And you go to karaoke song? Hmm. I'm really not a karaoke guy. Like I, I have a hard time with karaoke, but uh if I had to do one. Let me think. Maybe Close to You by Myself. Uh, I think that's a good karaoke song. It's got two parts. Yeah. Totally. And do you have any musical guilty pleasure or something that people wouldn't expect that you're into? Mm. I mean, I listen to a lot of pop music. I like to like know what's going on in pop. Uh, lately, I've really loved uh, Troy Sivan's new album. I think that's really good. Um, yeah, I'll just go with that. Yeah, just like, you know, bubblegum pop music. I love that. Of course. And do you have any dream collaboration? Like you've had the chance to collab with someone. Who would you um, pick? Yeah, let me think. I mean, like any of the OG, like indie artists would be awesome. Like Vampire Weekend or like uh, Phoenix um would be so cool i'm over. totally yeah totally we, we hope to see it someday too yeah <laughs> and any message for your fans that are waiting for you here in monterey in september to see you at show center complex yeah i mean i'm waiting too i can't wait it's gonna be so incredibly fun to finally play a headline show um it's gonna be crazy <laughs> 